So who does the car come back to? Both of us. Both of you? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, it'll come back to Spain and Sir, what's your social security number? I'm not giving my social. Oh. You're not giving your information, so you're not going to tell me who you are. So I don't know. So you're John Doe right now because I'm trying to find out who you are. I mean, if you have any warrants on you or anything. It, well, in the state of idea. Kentucky, you only have the ID if you committed a crime being lawfully arrested. Welcome to Weeded People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff deputy. Today's video is brought to you by Auditors of America, L-D-O-F, which means Last Days of Freedom. If you haven't subscribed to their channel, make sure you go and do so. While in the academy, I mainly learned defensive tactics. But the small amount of time that we did learn to enforce laws, we were taught how to be deceptive. For example, I was taught never request ID from a passenger. Simply present the question, sir, ma'am, do you have ID on you? Because you're not requesting them to give it to you, you're only asking them if they have it on them. Now, if they decide to give it to you, you did not demand it, so they can't hold you responsible. The problem with this deceptive strategy is this. They never taught us why we were not allowed to order the passenger to give us ID. And at this time, I'm just an ordinary citizen like everybody else trying to learn the law. So I had no clue about case law. But this is the case law that prevents police officers from ordering ID from passengers. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit, which oversees Arizona and several other western states, recently ruled that law enforcement cannot extend a traffic stop because a passenger refuses to give their identification unless the officer has reasonable suspicion the person has committed a crime, committing a crime, or about to commit a crime. So what that taught me is this, some police actually know case law, but they don't teach it to the younger cops. We're about to take a look at a Kentucky state trooper who is also aware of this case law, but tries to use the same deceptive strategy on a passenger, but it backfires. Let's take a look at this video. I always record. Oh, okay. Have you got an ID with you? No, sir. You don't have one? I don't, I've lost mine. Okay. Okay, I have a policy. Hold on one second. I'm just trying to find the thing. The reason I stopped is you're going 75 and a 55. Oh, you didn't have your seatbelt on when you went by me. Yes, sir. I mean, I'll be Yeah, I, my thing. And I also, yeah, the GPS. I noticed your tag expired back in ju July. What? Yeah. Oh, God. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. No, that I didn't know, sir. So I'm this, sorry. This I was vehicle following come the... back to you? Is this your car? Yes, sir. I, I was following the GPS. We're going to Hayden, Kentucky to get a free puppy for my daughter. Okay. And the GPS said it was 65, and I, so I know I would have still yeah, been speeding. Okay. I apologize. I... Watch all we're trying to slow people down. Yes, sir. I, let me, I'm trying to find my... Have you I... got anything with your name on it, sir? Okay. Have I committed a crime? I'm sorry? Have I committed a crime? No, sir, I just need to know who you are. Hey, this is that's, my that's... insurance, and I sent in my payment of $91. I'm trying to find my policy number, though. Okay. Uh, hold on, this is, don't have my policy number. Give me one second. Huh? Hold on one second. Get, get in. I need the glove box. I need the envelope. Hurry up. Please. I didn't want him to think we didn't have it. Here's our insurance. At the top, it has the, yes, sir, at the top, it says the policy number. And it shows the effective date that it's effective till December at the very top, December 17th. Okay. Um, so this is the policy on the car? Um, that, at the very top, there's a policy number. Yes, that's the policy number at the okay. very top. Policy number and effective date. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, it took me a minute to find it. So who does the car come back to? Both of us. Both of you? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, it'll come back to Spain and Germany. Sir, what's your social security number? I'm not giving my social. Oh. You're not giving your information, so you're not going to tell me who you are. So I don't know. So you're John Doe right now. Because I'm trying to find out who you are. I mean, if you have any warrants on you or anything. It, well, in the state the of Kentucky, you only have the ID if you committed a crime being lawfully arrested. You need I'm an auditor, sir. I know my rights. 403. I'm sorry? I'm sorry. Did you want mine? Don't give your social. No, I've got it. Oh, okay. That's what I was giving are you. Are you okay, sir? I'm fine. Okay, because I'm pulling her over for several violations on the vehicle, and you're telling her not to give me your information so I'm just social security numbers are private i mean you can get her name and okay, birthday I'll, I'll give it you know what you do oh no oh baby it's it's dead it's got a charge okay
you got my image driver's license? Sorry. And I am, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I, well, that's fine. We're just out here trying to make sure everybody slows down. Uh, Where's the yes, seat belts, okay? Yes, sir. Thank yes, you sir. for having that baby in the car seat. Oh, God. Yes. Always. Always. Yes. Okay. At that I age, you, too. I give you a citation on the speed and seat belt. That's just a fine. Okay. But your tags, they did expire back in July, so you're going to have to get that taken care of through Tennessee. I will get that taken care of tomorrow. Are you sir. living in Kentucky now or are you still no, in Tennessee? No, we live in Tennessee. Okay, you yes, have to sir. take care of it through Tennessee then. Yes, sir. What they need to do is they want to see them at the courthouse, okay? I okay. set a court date up all the way to October the 26th. Okay. If you can get it before then. I'm going to pay my fines online or call them in, correct? Well, yeah, but we have to go to court because of the registration. But I'm saying that they might let you fax that in. I don't know. Okay. okay. Oh, because we live so, so far away. So I give all the information for the courthouse in here, okay? Okay. Oh, because we live right. so far away, you mean? Right. Okay. So Thank try you. to be careful. Slow down yes, for sir. us, okay? Is this, this is the, uh, the, this is the whole citation, right? Yeah, that's the whole citation. Okay. That other one right there is the address and everything, okay? Oh, okay. okay. Jeremiah, have a good day, brother. Thank you, sir. You have a good day. Wow. So we see the Kentucky State Trooper get a little defensive because this passenger knew his rights. So what does he do? He goes and runs the tag and gets his name and tries to give him a little jab shot at the end before he walks away by telling him or allowing him to know that he knows his name now. So what we just witnessed was deceptive tactics, also a little bit of pettiness by the state trooper. But kudos to this passenger, he knew his rights. And make sure you know your rights. Down below is the link to my free ebook. Make sure you click it. You can also click the link above my head. Make sure you get my ebook. It's gonna teach you what you can and cannot do and what the police officers can and cannot do when you encounter them. Also, if you haven't done so, my online video course titled Surviving the Police is going to be 50% off until the end of the year. If you have not registered, make sure you register. It's going to teach you everything you need to know when dealing with the police so your rights are never violated. That being said, we the People University, signing off.